SGC here and back again for Walking Dead. So this time episode 2 is called The Infected. Well, pretty much. I mean, Patrick is infected and he kills people in the cell block and turning them into walkers. And then they have a special cell block kill throughout. And then, you know, Carol's doing that crazy thing. It's like, this is your dad, so um, watch him because he's, as he's turning into a zombie. That's pretty harsh and pretty messed up. I think Carol's gotta reel it back to reality and stop being so like these are children children and I mean ugh, ugh, what is there to talk about this episode not much I'm not really excited for it like the action was there but it's just like why like I don't feel tension because I know that every time some main cast guy shows up it's like he's gonna pull that shot and then just random guy walk in the background, he's gonna die, and that actually happens. And I guess this is what I wanted, and I guess this is, I'm not, I'm still not impressed, like, I don't care. Like, I mean, the fact that they have all these restaurants, it's, like, good for them, but the fact that they needed to bring a flu to kill, like, pa old, poor old Patrick and him become, like, a, like, you know, like a, uh, like a walker, it's just, it's just too sad, too bad. And then there's also that, someone's feeding them, and then that crazy ending, Let's get to that later. But like the fence thing was just kind of weird too, because it's like the, the, they didn't follow up with the guy that was pushing his face through the fence. Like, how does that happen? Like, no one's pushing his head down. It's just him. Then all of a sudden, he learned that he can push his face through the fence and cut his face and then kill himself at the same time. Like, how none of the other zombies did that? That was just like random, like gore for the sake of gore. Like, come on, like beast. Uh, but I guess it's, this is Walking Dead being in th this infamous inconsistency with everything that they do. And then also, like, when Rick also does that pig thing, I was, wow. Like, I was I was just like, whoa, dude, this is your food and you're giving it up. But I guess, you know, survival is not a problem in the world of the TV show, The Walking Dead. Like, you know, I can throw my pigs away. I can shoot as much as I want. They should just shoot everybody on the fence because they have unlimited ammo anyway. And then now you have Rick going back to himself, getting his gun back, his hat. And there's this Tyrese thing with his girlfriend who's been infected, and then she is burnt to death by somebody. Like who? Like who can do that? All this and not be found out? Is there that big of a community now that? you can walk around and no one will know that you're doing all this. So, I mean, that's pretty much it about my feelings for this episode. I actually look forward to episode 3 because it's actually written by Robert Kirkman and episode 9 apparently is also written by him, so I look forward to those two episodes pretty much, and that is it for this Talk of the Walk. I think that's a new catchphrase, Talk of the Walk. Anyway, that is all. I didn't like this episode.